Hello team, Alex Social here from my, my homeland, Australia. I've been away for 25 months and I'm back here today with a video for you today about the flirting loop and this concept that we call the call to action. Something that you're probably not doing and not creating flirting loops, not creating attraction and not being able to move uh, interactions uh, forward, being able to get results. So I wanna to talk to you about that starting right now. So as you know, we've now made available online Conversation Casanova and The Mastermind. And what that is, is the seminars. The, all the content that I think is the most important in the last five years of my coaching, I've summarized that and presented that and made that available to you online. And we called it Conversation Casanova because it's about how to verbally empower yourself so that you get into flirting loops, create tests and create attraction. Obviously, that's what's gonna make your game work. With the call to action, that is one of the verbal skills I'm gonna to talk to you about today. But the thing that's combined with Conversation Casanova is the Mastermind Group. That's a subscription where you can be in contact with me every week on a day-by-day -day basis and all the other guys, a lot of which have graduated from my live programs. So you can always basically have me in your pocket. You can have a group of guys who, who've been trained by me, who you can ask questions to, they're gonna be there in your pocket to answer questions when you're out and about, and also to help you to make sense of whatever's going on in your mind, in a game, out of game, logistics, dating apps, uh, case studies, things like that. And thirdly, included in the package are my new infield videos. And this is for YouTube and Facebook, right? So we barely, we can't talk about infield videos, we can't show them. I can show little snippets, and I will show you a little snippet of an infield video at the end of this video, but we, it's very hush-hush, okay? So there's new footage of me using the call to action, the flirting loop, the range of emotions, conversation Casanova skills, so that you can use them as well. And I think that's probably the most valuable thing to you. Of course, the seminars explain what's happening and then me breaking down the infill video makes it really easy for you to understand and go and use for yourself. So that package deal of both Conversation Casanova, Mastermind and infill videos all together, that's only available for a couple more days and then we're gonna separate those three concepts and we're gonna add a lot more to the price of those three things. So make sure you jump on them right away. Now, back to the call to action, okay. We call it the call to action in a kind of a sales sense that if you're, if you're flirting with a girl and you wanna make it, you wanna bring chemistry and sparks into the interaction, you need to be moving things forward. But that doesn't necessarily mean you escalating and trying to make out. It does need to mean that you're talking about going for the number, going for the drink, going for dancing. And the biggest problem that guys who are learning game, what you have is that you're always too safe, too predictable, too boring. And you know, it's scary enough to go up and speak to a girl you don't know, but then to add the risk of rejection when you ask her for the phone number or to dance with you or the make out or whatever, those, those things are called call to action. And when you bring them in, you risk rejection, which scares the hell out of you. Just going and doing the approach, you, you risk rejection, but then you're actually asking for acceptance or rejection when you call to action. Now, a list of call to action are the following things. Um, of course, getting the conversation started, asking for the phone number, uh, moving the girl from one part of a venue to another, asking the girl for the Instagram, asking the girl to dance with you, uh, initiating physical contact, asking the girl to have a drink with you, walking out of the front door with her, uh, going to the after party, going for a date. These are all calls to action. Now, what you probably fail to realize that I want to draw to your attention today is that the call to action itself, even though you may be rejected or declined or non-compliant,ed or you may get non-compliance with one of these calls to action, just by you asking for them, you start a flirting loop. And that's what I want you to focus on. So I think a lot of guys are worried about what to say. You know, well, what do I say to girls? You know, that's only the beginning of the battle. What you need to worry about is how to get into a flirting cycle. So. It's not correct to ask, what should I say to women? It's correct to ask, what kinds of things should I say that are gonna get the girls to give me a challenge back and then I can engage that challenge. That's banter, that's flirting, that's attraction, that's sparks, that's chemistry, that's what you're desperately missing. And so when I'm coaching on Four Week Natural, and here I am in Melbourne, by the way, Melbourne 2022, I've just started Four Week Natural number one. 
I've got a second four week natural starting in May. Okay, the beginning of May going through to June. So Australians, Melbourne is open. Get down to Melbourne, come and work with me. We have three positions left. Um, but say for example, if you're doing day game or a night game on the four week natural and you know, like so many guys, you have approach anxiety and you're overwhelmed by the girl that you're talking to and you go over there and you have a platonic interaction. Where are you from? Nice to meet you. And you keep your shit together enough that, you know, the set doesn't go horribly wrong. But obviously you're not asking anything from the girl. You're not calling to action. And you, what you tend to think is like, okay, that went well. I don't want to screw it up. Even on dating apps and even on dates, you guys tend to think, oh, this is going well. I don't want to screw it up. That's called playing to not lose, right? And that's, you cannot get results if you do it that way. Like 100%, you cannot get results if you're not the, the guy who can move it forward. But that reconciliation of acceptance and rejection and call to action, when you ask for the phone number, you don't have to get it. When you ask her to go and get a drink with you, she doesn't have to say yes. When you ask her to go on a date with you, she doesn't have to say yes. It's okay for her to reject you. What's important is that you're starting the kind of conversation where, where she could say, why should I give you my phone number? Why should I go on a date with you? Why should I come and get a drink with you? And then you start a flirting loop. And that, when you hear that word, start a flirting loop, you should be super excited because that's what actually gets the chemistry going. The girl is only gonna be attracted to a guy who can, who can deal with banter and deal with tests. A guy who's not gonna freak out and get reactive when the girl becomes testy, playful, sassy, uh, and you know, a bit provocative with her banter, only then is she gonna actually get excited. It shows that you're man enough to have a, a, a grown up conversation that you're not gonna be pushed over too easily and that you have some experience with women. And if you don't have real experience, you're getting training here from me and other people right now, that, that stands for something, that counts for something. And you're gonna be able to take these lessons and go and use them in your real life uh, conversations even though you haven't had a lot of experience with women yet so if you call to action imagine you're having the most boring conversation ever and the girl is like giving you dismissal after dismissal she's turning her back on you and then playfully almost almost facetiously you say oh hey this has been a great conversation do you want to go on a date with me the girl's gonna be like what I'm not gonna go on a date with you or you know you go and have a conversation with a girl and she says we're not interested. And say, like, hey, would you like to get a bottle of champagne with me and go on a romantic Italian dinner? It's like, what? The fact that you can trigger her and make her react to you when you call to action, when you say something that risks rejection, that's when the game actually begins. So even in day game, when my guys are doing it on the 4 Week Natural here, they will go and do, have a conversation with the girl and it might not go anywhere. And then they say, hey, this has been a really great conversation. Can I have your number and maybe get to know you over a series of dates out of the blue? And you can imagine what the boring conversation would be. Hi, where are you from? What are you doing? And the girl's like, er? And then, and then the guy calls to action out of the blue. This is one of the, the easiest attraction material that you can actually do. Now, brace yourself because the girl's gonna come back at you and say, you can't say that, you shouldn't say that. Where, like, why would I wanna go on a date with you? And you say, then, You've set a precedent where you can be funny and silly and playful and you can self-aggrandize. You can even say that she needs a boyfriend. You can say, I'm super funny. You can say, I deserve it because I work so hard. You can say, because you've emotionally eviscerated me and I feel so embarrassed. Full range of emotions. But those things, they scare you and they need to scare you. If you're, if you're acting normal, you're not gonna get results. If you're acting a little bit weird and doing things that scare you a little bit with girls, then you can get results. But brace yourself because when you call to action, she's gonna come back at you and basically you wanna sell the idea. Because if you get a drink with me, it's gonna be the best drink of your life. Because your friends are gonna be jealous of you. That's flirting, okay? That's when things get funny and that's what, you know, so many girls on dating apps, they say, I love a guy with banter. I like good banter, right? They mean a guy who can deal with their sass because that's the girl getting mentally excited and realizing that guy is emotionally mature enough and, and masculine enough that he can deal with a bit of sassy banter from a little girl who doesn't consider herself to be uh, more important than the guy she's talking to, at least not emotionally, right? 
she doesn't have the same in core confidence as a guy does, at least in the dating game, all right? A girl, a woman wants to be chosen by a man with choice. You guys want to be with a lovely girl, right? So she wants to think that you're a guy with choice, not that you're superior to her, but having choice and she's valued or appreciated or acknowledged by a person with choice. And if you can deal with a bit of sass and banter, as trained by me or from experience with dealing with other girls in the past, then you're gonna indicate that you have some choice and she's gonna be drawn to that, that's attraction. So, call to action. Actually do it because you're gonna get tests that's gonna create flirting. Now here we've had a, a nine minute video, all right, talking about call to action. Sign up for Conversation Casanova, all right? We're gonna jack the prices up a lot after this bonus period is finished. Right now we've only launched our YouTube list and the email list. After this, we're gonna go Google ads, Facebook ads, affiliate marketing, all that kind of stuff. So you can get it now for the price and a, in a bundle after this is gonna go up by double the price. Okay, so make sure you jump on that. And what's included is all the seminars about attraction, flirting, a thousand pickup lines, qualification, screening, uh, the full process of the night, how to be an attractive guy, female psychology, and no reason you're not enough, that's all included. Then mastermind with me which you can speak to me once a week in a in a webinar and i can answer your questions all week as as well as my four week natural authorities and the thing that we can't talk about a lot on youtube is the new infield videos right so it's all there and i made this program for my four week natural students so that they can have the best content possible before they come and work with me for four weeks, five weekends in a city like Melbourne. And as I said, we're having another program in Melbourne here starting in April, so don't miss it. Just a couple of positions left. Uh, make sure that you apply. And make sure you jump on this deal, guys, because it's awesome. We've put a lot of work into it. The conclusion of five years, summarized, delivered really well, and then a chance for you to witness it live with, well, infield replays and breakdowns, and then ask questions of how it relates to you in the Mastermind Forum. Glad to speak to you from my, my homeland in Australia. The sun's out in, uh, in autumn time here, and uh, we'll be going out doing some four-week natural soon. Leave a comment if you have questions about call to action. Thumbs up if you liked it because, you know, I wanna make more of these videos, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alex from Four Week Natural, speak to you again soon.